Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Today we will be looking at how to install the 5PD add-on for the Sonoran CAD. Uh, we looked over the CAD complete overview yesterday. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Um, so make sure to watch that first. I'm going to assume you have the CAD installed and everything like we did yesterday before you do this video. This is to connect 5PD to the CAD system. The way this plugin works is every time a call is accepted, it's going to add that call into the CAD system, which is really, really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're first going to be installing 5PD, fresh, brand new out of the box for our local server. So we're going to head over to the GTA Police Mods website. Link to this page is down in the description. Um, if you can, use our referral link. It doesn't give us anything over on GPM, but it does discount the amount of people that we've referred. Last time I checked, we were like close to 2,000, which is just crazy to think from all the videos we've done so far. So make sure to just use that if you want and join the club over on their um, site as well. VGHD Club, I'll leave a link to if you want. Uh, feel free to do that. Just cool to be in. Anyway, let's get started. So to download 5PD, obviously, you're just going to download it. This plugin will work for both if you're using MySQL or SQL Lite. We're going to be using uh, SQL Lite today. Um, we're just going to download the latest version, 1.5.1. Open up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files. You can see we have an SQL file. This, if you decide to use MySQL, you can. You have the 5PD. I'm going to keep just the plain 5PD install with pretty much nothing else needed. We're going to put this into our resources folder, and then we're just going to drag that in like that. And there we go. 5PD is now installed. If you don't remember, they added a lot more drag and drop rather than all the steps that we used to have to do. So in the end, you would want to configure this to your liking. But for our case, we're just going to keep it default. Right. Next step is we're going to go over to the Sonoran CAD um, wiki page. This does require the plus version of the CAD to use uh, because it uses those API endpoints. Um, we already installed our plugin framework in the last video. So all we're going to do is download the 5PD plugin.zip file. Open this up with WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever you use. And there's going to be two things we're going to need. In here, you can see there's a put in 5PD um, plugins. So we're going to do that first, 5PD plugins folder we're going to drag in that dll not dot net dot dll which just hooks into the cad resource then we're going to go to resources we're going to go to our sonoran cad folder go to sonoran cad their plugin folder over there and we're going to drag in the 5pd uh, plugin into there and in here you can see we're going to do the same thing we did in the last video get rid of the change me and just keep it config underscore 5pd.lula edit with notepad plus plus and enable it to True, you can change up the origin and the status code if you want um, to have it like open, active, closed. I recommend just keeping these default because that is the easiest way of doing it. We're pretty much done. All we have to do now is go to our server data server.cfg file, edit it with notepad plus plus, and just make sure 5pd is started before all of our CADs. So we're going to do ensure 5pd, save it like that. Now, when we go ahead and start our server up, what we're going to just make sure and we look for is make sure everything loads up. There's 5PD loading up. There is Sonoran CAD loading up perfectly fine. And if we check here, we're going to see loaded plugins, 5PD. We are good just like that. Now we can actually hop in game and it should sync um, automatically into when we are a police officer and should sync all the calls in. So let's hop in game. All right. So now that I have a department, I'm going to go ahead and force a call. I'll do unconscious person. And when I accept this in dispatch, you can see there's going to be an active call um, updated here. I'm going to edit this call and then I can drag in my unit, update it. Heritage way. And there goes the voice commands. And you can now see I have it in my CAD. Um, obviously, you can self dispatch if you enable it as well in the CAD. But overall, the calls do sync. Um, once you are complete with the call, obviously, if I like code for it, just like that, you are still going to have that call in your CAD because it doesn't sync like that. So if I do self-dispatch, I can go ahead and update the call. I can change it to closed just like this, update call, and there we go, the call is now closed. So you can self-dispatch, you can use the CAD, but overall it just makes it so the calls that you accept do sync. So everyone on the server can obviously be attached to it. And if you have a dispatcher, while it doesn't uh, sync the um, post a code or anything into the CAD yet. I know that is something that they are, um, they've been trying to get working, but I believe it's not possible in the current 5PD. Hopefully it will be uh, possible when the new update of 5PD comes out, um, which is like a major recode, I believe. So I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see what keeps being made on this, but it's pretty easy to use. I really enjoy it. It works well. You'll see us doing it in a future video. So make sure to stay tuned for all of that. Anyway, 
Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for a 5PD video before the end of the week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.